if you're going to uh, have a sense of responsibility and try to uplift your group, you have to exercise restraint over some of your own desires. The collection of Dr. Sadarkasa is one of the largest that we have here. It is a privilege for us to do the work of preserving and interpreting the legacy of individuals like Dr. Sadarkasa, and we hope that researchers are aware uh, of this collection, of the other resources that we have here at Arlick, so that it can become a destination for scholars and researchers. My grandmother was kind of shrouded in mystery for me and for my siblings. She didn't talk a lot about herself. Now that she's transitioned, and since I don't have that immediate access, I'm, I'm, I, I still feel excited and inspired that I still have such an abundant access to resources to get to know her, and that, yeah, there's such a living, vibrant archive after she's left the physical realm. Dr. Sudakasa was an amazing person. She started off here in Fort Lauderdale, and at 14, she left to go to Fisk University, which is a major accomplishment. She went on to do some awesome things in academia. She was the first New York University African-American professor in anthropology. She was the first female president at Lincoln University, the HBCU in Pennsylvania. I studied under her and I worked together with her and the experience was fantastic. I am very delighted that this woman spent her life as an academic freedom fighter to unite the broken and split of units of Africa as taken away by white supremacy into the new world. If you want to know about an amazing leader from here in this strong community, please come research with us here at the African American Research Library.